Hi kids, my name is Tanya McCartney and I come from Australia, which is why my accent sounds a little bit weird. I'm an author illustrator and one of my latest books is called Ivy Bird. I wrote the words to this book and Jess Ratcliffe did these beautiful pictures. I wrote Ivy Bird because I think birds are magical and I love that kids can engage with birds in their local neighbourhoods just like you can. It's important to get to know nature and to immerse ourselves in nature. I would love to read you Ivy Bird today and I hope that you get to discover some really beautiful birds in this book. I think you will. Ivy Bird. When the sun comes up, Ivy wakes to tweets and cheeps. You can see there she's stretching and yawning. A little bit of seed and Ivy takes flight. Look, she's running outside. I wonder what she's doing there. For breakfast, she pecks in the sunshine. Ivy warbles, she's after the early worm. Foraging in cups of sweet nectar is followed by a little feather fluffing. When she jumps in the pond, the ducks are all in a row. Can you see them there? Ivy is the very best paddler of them all. Lunch is very delicious. We all know that birds love berries. There are strawberries and blackberries and Logan berries too. Ivy loves hide and seek. She finds the perfect hiding spot where everything is blooming and smells like perfume. I wonder what kind of bird you think Ivy might look like there. We might find out at the end of the story. Ivy likes shiny bits and pieces. She hides them under sticks and stones. It's her secret treasure nest. The most playful birds call their friends, then flap their wings and play tag in the clouds. Ivy has a lovely voice. She can trill and chirp, peep and chatter, cackle, tweet and squawk. All the birds join in. After dinner, the bird bath is filled and a bright little chick splashes the day away. Do you have bath paints at your house? You might see Ivy here. She looks a little bit like the Rosella on Dad's book, doesn't she? When the sun goes to bed, Ivy's eyes are wide. She hoots in the dark. Hoo -hoo. The moon sails high and it's time to settle in her nest. After all, every little bird needs a place to call home. You can see here that Ivy is snuggled up in her bed but also her canary friend is snuggled up in the little nest here with her friend as well. Isn't that cute? And at the end of Ivy Bird, you'll see there's a whole range of amazing birds that you might have seen through the book. And I'm guessing that this peacock, oh, where is it? There, this peacock. It's a bit weird doing, uh, reading books to a camera. This peacock is probably what Ivy was dressing up as as she was hiding in the flowers in the garden. And there's wonderful facts about birds at the end of Ivy Bird. For example, the hummingbird, its wings beat very, very fast. In fact, they can beat up to 5,400 times every minute. Can you believe that? That's like a blur. And there's Ivy and her little friend at the end of the book. I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope that you can spend some time really soon going outside and having a look in your neighbourhood for some birds. You might find them in your backyard or down the street or at the local park. You might just be able to look up and see them hiding in a tree or soaring through the sky. I wonder what kind of birds you can find. And I also wonder what kind of bird you could pretend to be. You might pretend to be a duck wonder what kind of noise a duck makes or you might pretend to be a rooster. Why don't you give it a go at your house? It's lovely to meet you and I hope you enjoy Ivy Bird at your house really soon. Bye!